Hi, Kingdom Kids, and welcome back. Pastor House here. And Dr. House. Listen, we're going to be taking you on an amazing journey, learning about books of the Bible. So you're going to enjoy this. Have fun. I'll be able to see you real soon. Welcome. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is such a privilege to be here with you. And today, I am going to teach you a Kingdom Kids daily affirmation. And see, this affirmation, I want you to say it every single day. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say it, and then you're going to say it after me. Are you ready for this? I know you are. I can just feel you. So let's begin. Philippians 4.13. It says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Now you say it. Now I can learn anything. I can know anything. I can be anything. I have unlimited potential. I make good choices. I am never alone. I can do hard things. I am amazing inside and out. God has a plan for me. I know who I am. I am a child of God. Psalms 91 verse 10 and 11. There shall no evil befall me. Neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's 
boys and girls. So good to have you back. Listen, today we're going to be talking about a man named Jonah, and he was the runaway prophet. Come on, let's get started. There was a city long ago that sin and evil had brought low. Great wickedness was everywhere. The citizens just didn't care. Since sin is what they all enjoyed, God said the place would be destroyed. He told a man named Jonah to tell Nineveh just what he'd do. But Jonah didn't want to go. He didn't trust the Lord. And so he got on board a westbound ship and tried to give the Lord the slip. Now, wasn't that a foolish thought to try to go where God is not? There is no place where God's not there because the Lord, well, he's everywhere. Just then, God sent a furious storm. Gigantic waves began to form. And Jonah said, oh, it's plain to see God sent this storm because of me. He shouted as the wind still roared. You have to throw me overboard. The sailors granted Jonah's wish, and he was swallowed by a fish. Check out the size of that big fish. He swallowed a whole man, Jonah. Three days and nights, he was inside. God kept him, or he would have died. His prayers were answered as God planned. He was spit out on dry land. Now go to Nineveh, God said. So off to Nineveh, he sped. It's certain that he didn't wish to spend more time inside that fish. When he arrived there, Jonah said, in 40 days, you'll all be dead. God hates all wickedness and sin and hates how evil you have been. The word of God came to the king who did a wise and proper thing. He called the people to 
to repent and showed they were penitent. Turn from your evil ways, he said, from wicked lives that you have led. Sackcloth and ashes are the way to show we mean just what we say. So they put on some scratchy clothes. They itched and hurt from head to toes. They sat in ashes, didn't eat, and suffered from the summer heat. When God saw how they had changed their ways, and well before the 40 days, he said, because they do repent, I absolutely will relent. Then, when the 40 days were done and no destruction had begun, Prophet Jonah was annoyed. He wanted Nineveh destroyed. People repented. They turned from their wicked ways and they started acting better. But Jonah was now a little upset about it. Let's read more to find out why. Jonah found a spot above the town and sat and sulked and wore a frown. The sun beat down upon his head until he wished that he were dead. God said to Jonah, shouldn't you be merciful and kindly too toward people whom I forgive and whom I bless that they may live? We need the Lord's forgiveness too. And it is there for me and you. We too repent for sins we've done. Mm -hmm. For Jesus paid for everyone. So boys and girls, you know, sometimes when God calls us, we resist. We might try to go the other way, right? Well, if the Lord calls us to do something that we don't want to do, we like Jonah try to run away. We try to slip out on God. We try to hide from him. We try to get out of doing the hard jobs. But he's called us to do it. Boys and girls, just like Jonah, our sinfulness leads us into some dark, messy, even life-threatening places. But there's no hiding from God. He may allow us to stumble down into the deepest depths like Jonah in the belly of that fish. But as the story of Jonah proves, the further away we go, the worse things get for us. So one of the things that we can learn from Jonah's example is that even when God is with us and he is so merciful, Oh, God, thank you for being so merciful. Because even when we run away from him, he still shows us mercy. Our God, boys and girls, well, he's a gracious God and he's merciful towards us. He's slow to anger and he's abounding in steadfast love. That's what it says in Jonah, the fourth chapter and the second verse. So you make sure to read that book. And you learn all you can about the prophet Jonah so you don't try to run away from God. Just repent when we do wrong. Show mercy and kindness to our fellow man when they do wrong. God will take care of us. Come back again. Join us next time. God bless. <laughs>